Browser, browser world. Uh, kind of slanted. And then uh, so all my work will go this way. Uh, what kind of shape do I want to use here? I think his shape is very, 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 uh, very bullety, very bullety. So I'm going to use a, I'm going to use a, uh, I'm going to use a, uh, a bullet shape here. So I'm going to do something like this here. Okay. And then I'm going to bake my shape. Once I had that bullet shape, then I just, uh, I'll come up here like this and draw the sides of my head here. Okay. I really could have just went straight up with that though, but I did it. Let me see here. And then I'm gonna let me see here. So I'm gonna do this little shape here. Okay, and then we're gonna put our little circle here for the earring. Uh, okay. I could have went with more of a I don't know. Let me should I have gone with more of a Flower potty idea. I don't know. I think this should work out. Let me see. Okay. 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 All right. Now, yeah, I will definitely put you in in the prayer list, uh, Cherish, when we when we get to the the um, word of the day. Thank you for letting me know about that. I always believe when touching and agreeing, I believe that Jesus heals. So, we will definitely pray for you, sister. All right, let me see here. All right, so that's my nose shape there. I'm going to go ahead and just put, I mean, you know what? I'm just going to drop these glasses around here somewhere. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do something like this here I know it don't have to be exactly right just I'm breaking it down so it's simple you know what I mean you ain't got to do all that you know I know it's a little bit of a three-quarter view and I cheated I, I, I will admit I cheated a little bit on my three-quarter view but ain't nobody gonna know right let me see here um, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do this shape here first, and then I can do like this. Okay. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta, gotta, gotta get good at at, at identifying those shapes. You know what I mean? You gotta get those shapes in there. get those shapes in there mm -hmm. and keep it as simple as possible okay I think I gotta get his little mustache in there so I could just do it with one line right here I could have did it like that but it don't matter I could just do it like this. That's why I wish I would have did a little bit more. You know what? I still can do this. I can do it like this and add it on there. You know what I'm saying? Just a little bit more squareness to the jawline. And then I'll just add this part down here. Nobody will know what I did. It just looks like a piece of the beard right there. You got you to gotta stay thinking. Sometimes you might have to make an adjustment mid-cartoon. And if you don't know how to... If you, if you're a person that looks at the problem and not solutions, that might have been like, oh my gosh, I gotta start all over. Uh, <clears throat> all right, let me see here. Now his eye shape to me, he has a very, he has very small, hooded eyes. So I'm gonna go with something that looks like a, uh, maybe like a right triangle almost. But I'm gonna go very small, something like this, and then like that. And once again, I'm just gonna. I'm 
what's going to suggest it in there. Very simple shapes like that. And then we can see here that his eyes are really, he has those eyes where they kind of fill up the whole shape a little bit. So you got to fill up the shape a little bit like that. Oh yeah, that's perfect. That's perfect. That's perfect. <clears throat> strong yeah. okay okay all right I like that right there so now what I'm gonna do here I got to get this hat in here okay so this is a very straight brim almost I think we could put a little bit of a bend in it but you know what I think it'd be cool if we just did it straight like that because that's the whole idea that's the that's the that's the um That's the common thing with the youngsters now, right? <laughs> oh, you went to his concert? <laughs> hey, right on. Hey, what's going on, Incubated? How are you? Thank you so much for coming out to the stream today. Super awesome of you to come out and hang out with me. Okay, let me see here. All right, now we're gonna do this right here. So we're looking at this being the top of the arrow. So if this is the top of the arrow, that means that this is where, when we when we draw this piece out here, right? We wanna go up to the top of the arrow. And we wanna come around. You know what I should have did? I think I should have went a little bit more so how can I how can I do that? You know what? This is what I'll do. I'm gonna bring it out some more. Nobody's gonna know. I wanna add a little bit more fullness to the hat. So I'm gonna I'm gonna bring it out just a little bit. There we go. And I'm gonna bring this out just a little bit more too. Once again, just to make a little bit of adjustment, just to so I could, you know what I mean? I want it to be more, you know, bigger. And then this part right here would be like that little thing coming off on the back of the hat, right? Like that. <laughs> All right, there you go. Once again, you got to drawing with markers is a it's a very it's it's, it's a it's a it's a thought provoking exercise, uh, to say the least. It's it's very thought provoking. You gotta you gotta think your way out of situations, right? Without balling up the paper. <laughs> It's like, it's like life, right? You can mess up, right? And then you gotta say, man, okay, I messed up. So what can I do to get back on track without throwing your life away all together? You know, sometimes get throwing your life away is, 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 is the equivalent of just going all the way in and saying, you know what, I'm, I'm worthless. I, I can never recover from this. It's over with. That's balling up the paper. You know what I mean? But the good artist says, you know what? They take the, they pick the paper up, and whatever they drew, they look at it, and then they turn it sideways, and then turn it upside down, and they, you know what I mean, they look at it like this, right? And then they be like, ah, oh, I see what I can do. I know what I can do, and I, I know how I can fix it from here. You know, now there are points where you do have to start all over. I'm saying that's not ne necessary, but you can also always do that because that part is called grace, right? That is when. You know, we understand that we can be forgiven and we can start life all over again if things get too far out of control. You get what I mean? So, but you know, I think that I think that spirituality is all about mental is is and mentality are all tied together. You know what I mean? <laughs> all right. Uh, so uh, let me see here. I think I'm, I'm. Let me see. What's this right here? I got a little circle right here. Yeah, hey, look at that circle right there. That's a good circle right there. I think I ought to do that TikTok challenge where they draw circles, right? Let me see. I don't even know what that say in there. Look like a, I don't know. Look like almost look like the Wu Tang sign or something to me. That's what it looked like to me, but it might not be. So I'm not gonna put it there. He might not even like Wu Tang. All right. <laughs> All right. Let's back up just a little bit here. Let's see here. Yeah, oh man, I like this because he got like a little, he got his little bow tie going on here. All right. 
All right, let me see. It's a bit. <laughs> yeah. You know. Uh, well, you know, I'm going to tell you, and I see it, it got a question here about, like, first of all, I, first of all, I really appreciate you uh, encouraging me, and, and even because, you know, I, the first thing I, I'm going to tell you, you asked me about, he said, how do you get good at drawing? And um, I feel like I'm not good at drawing. I th- I approach drawing like I'm not good at it. So therefore, I always I, I appreciate it when other when others say, you know what, you th- this is a good job or whatever. And I let that come from the mouths of others. I never praise myself about this, but my mentality is always that I need to learn more. That's almost good enough. Yeah, this way you don't stop learning. You know what I mean? It's not like saying you know i you know if you let the praise come from other people it, it, it means more and then you get and then for yourself you know you always just i always just say you know what can i learn today what can i do in each face to me or each drawing or each thing that i every day i wake up and i and i'm going to tell you one thing that was very that, that i i think if i had one piece of advice for for for, for just artists in general Art in, artists in general, not just artists, I think people, I think this applies to everybody. I think this applies across the board. I, You wouldn't believe the power of basic, right? Minimalist. You ever seen, you know what a minimalist is? You ever seen those people that they live in a house, right? But they only got like four or five pairs of pants, two or three, four, and a shirt to go with each one. Their house is very minimal, not a lot of clutter, right? And when you look at their house, even though you think in your mind, how could I, I could never live like that. But at the same time, something about it is appreciative because you're sitting there like, man, I wish my house was that clean, right? (laughs) Or, and you think about it with minimalists, right? Think about it. They have, they don't have to, uh, they don't have a lot of stuff to move around. You know what I mean? When they got to move, they can just move. They don't have a lot of attachments to stuff, right? So, once again, this all goes hand in hand with your mentality as a, as a, as an artist, right? I you if you'll notice my style of drawing, you'll see a lot of caricatures do a lot of stuff like all these crazy exaggerations and stuff. And you, yeah, you can do that, but I feel like it's too much. You're moving around too much. You're doing. You're trying to move too much. I I, I feel like minimalism is a is a is a thing you have to learn. You know, going back to the basics. I'm always practicing basic stuff. Like your 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 progression as an artist is always it's going to be tied to um, going back to the basics a lot. Like keeping it simple. And simplicity is like man, it's something admirable about it. Like I said, when you look at those people with those types of houses and stuff, and you be like, man, they almost don't have nothing in their house. But then part of it. Part of looking at it makes you feel understand how disorganized your house is. You like, man, you ever like <laughs> the other day, me and my wife were washing washing laundry, right? And it just seems like I'm always washing clothes. I just want to burn my clothes. I'm tired of washing all these clothes, especially like I got clothes in my closet that I will never ever. I don't even look at. I got like my top five things that I wear or whatever, but the rest of that stuff is just stuff in my closet that I never put on. And I'm like, you know, I just I get tired of what, and then I have to fold them up and put them up and find some way to stuff them and all kinds of stuff, you know. So uh, I was just talking about my wife to my wife about minimalism, and she was like, "Well, you can throw your stuff away, but you better not touch my stuff." <laughs> That's so, okay. <laughs> but anyway, um, let me go ahead and finish this up here. But yeah, I think that's, I think that's one of the things you know, as, as far as becoming better at as an artist, um, learning how to see really basic shapes. So everything you see here is a is a. To me, you hear me call out shapes. Like when I got to the eye, I said, you know what? I think I'm gonna go with a right triangle here. Or I think I'm gonna go, or 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 I'm his his head looks like an arrow to me, but underneath all of it, what I'm seeing is something that looks like like let me show you, like yeah, you might see this face, but to me, only thing I see when I drew his face was this, 
You get what I mean? That's what I saw. And even if I wanted to keep it just that simple, you get what I'm saying? This is what I saw. If I just went real basic, okay? And then you can see here, everything just fits together as I'm as I'm doing it. You know what I mean? It, it, this still is going to look like him. The mouth shape, the same thing. The eye shape, the same thing. The line that I put here in between the middle of the face is really all the same thing. It's just me. I understand, I'm, I'm thinking about everything being very, very basic. No complications. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, uh, I think I said a lot right there. I, I think I need to go ahead and finish this picture up right here. I want to get to the end of this picture. So, let me see here. Let me get some shadows going on here. I'm going to erase my, my center line here. And I use that line to just kind of, I don't know, make my head tilt a little bit. Now, this is going to be what, this is where I like to put a little bit of emphasis at. Let me see here. Maybe I, I'll just do a little line like this. See, little simple stuff like this. See how much detail. See, now it looks like his hat is like, you know what I mean? And then maybe something like this here. You know what I mean? I don't have to do a great deal of stuff to make it look like a cool caricature. Right? This reminds me of a guy I work with named Steven. Sometimes I, I, you know, I work at one of the places. I draw at one of my places I draw at. Now that I look at him, looks like Steven. If you're watching Steven, what's going on? All right, so I think this is all I want to do with this one. I think we don't really need a whole bunch of lash, right? We don't need too much more. We just use eyebrows here. All right. Okay, and then something like this, right? Yeah, and then we can, we'll do this right here. We'll take a little crayon right here, right? See, look at, look at everything is... Is, you know I just take my time as you get older you'll see less steps you that's what happens when you get older that's the that's the gift of being older as a young person I think young people think too much <laughs> yeah I think young people think too much they, sometimes they, you know not all young people but I think that unless you're not unless you you're not taught how to think you will think too much and and then that's a lot of times what makes it what makes uh uh, uh, that makes you give up because when you think too much you see a lot of moving parts and then you be like man I got all these parts in my life you know and some adults do it too you know they never learn how to think their whole life they stay confined into this box where they think they need everything that they see they gotta have it if they don't get it it's not gonna be happy and then they add more stuff and then they add more stuff and then it wind up, do you see how far away stuff makes you unhappy? People, people are what make people things, the world go around. People are what make life worth living. It's not no stuff. Keep adding stuff. And even people, you got to watch how many of them you put in your circle. You know what I mean? You got to watch. You don't need all these people to like you. You just need the right people to like you. When I go to a restaurant and I'm drawing, right? I don't go, it could be, I could go in a restaurant with 15 people in there. Okay. I don't need all 15 of y'all to say yes. Right, I don't need I don't I don't need a carnival to make a living as a caricature artist. All I got to do is go into the place and three people get pictures from me. Two people, at, at, at each one of my locations, I put my price at a at a at a price where it's respectable based off of what my knowledge level is, and then I just go to my my locations and people. I walk in a place and I get some of the, the hostesses because they all know me and they'll say, "Ah, oh, it's dead in here today," and I'll say. And it's because it's like only like 20, 25, 30 people in the restaurant. And I'm like, really? I said, it's 30 people in here. What do you mean it's dead? And she said, well, in restaurant terms, that's not a lot of people. But to me, it's like 30 people. Oh, my gosh. This is outrageous. This is a lot. This is a crowd. My mentality. And I go in there. 
and I don't worry about the money or nothing. I just go in there and I start meeting people. And my gosh, I got a big board around my neck. I got some pencils and stuff. Then you know they know what I do now. <laughs> and then they say, hey, what? You know, walk up. How, what do you charge for that? This is what I charge. Do you want it or not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want one. You know what I mean? Because it's different. It's something that you're doing. People see you, you get out here doing something, and you ain't asking for nothing. And then I do a good job for them. You know what I mean? And then I got families in the city and that are literally, it's crazy because I live in a smaller city now than I did. When I was in San Antonio, I had tourists, so I would always work with, you know, I never had to draw the same person twice. But here in this city, it's a lot smaller, but I got families that just do this, the pictures with me every year just because they want to update it and keep it in their game room. They want, you know, what we look like when we were last year. Uh, every special occasion they come and they say, hey, you know, and they'll be looking for me. Where's that guy that draws those pictures? You know what I mean? So it's like you don't have to have everybody to be able to, uh, you don't have to have everybody to be able to do this. You just got to have the right people. And how I got to this was thinking too much. You don't need that much thinking to draw a caricature. You know, people, ah, I don't know if I can get out there and do it and talk to people. Yeah, you can. You're thinking too much. What's stopping you? Too much thinking. You see too many moving parts in your head. You think I gotta have this and that? Nope. I'm gonna tell you what you need. You need a drawing. This is how I started. I got a. I made me a makeshift drawing board. I went down to the Riverwalk in San Antonio. I took a piece of paper about one of my regular drawing size sheets of paper. I put caricatures and tips on it, and I put some thing and I stuck it right by me and I sat there. And people just sat down and said, I want a picture. That's how I started. <laughs> and then it, I did it again the next day. And I did it again the next day. And then now it's my full-time job. That's how I got started. There's no there's no real, there's no uh, magic trick to it. You just got to, I didn't. I don't look at all the moving parts. You know what I'm saying? All right, so I'm going to go ahead here and finish this one out. And then we'll get back into our uh, our rotation there just putting some little yeah 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 that look, that's a nice little touch right there yeah i like that touch i love that touch love the way that being a touch dun, 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 dun. no 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 i don't have a shop i don't do shops i just i i go places and draw people I have businesses that allow me to come in and do what I do at their business. And then I do parties and events and I just advertise myself on social media. And then uh, I just go out and meet people. When you meet people, every 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 place that I draw is because I was drawn somewhere and I met them and they happen to own this business. And they were like, you should come to my business and do this. Okay. And then I just get a network of businesses that let me go to their place. You just got to go out and meet people. If you're scared to talk to people, though, this is not a job for you. Caricature is not just about drawing. It's about public relations skills, right? <laughs> what was this guy's name again? Andy, Aunt Andy, Maneo, Andy. Now I know who this is. Is this guy, is he a rapper? Let me see. Andy, Andy. What was his name? Andy. I remember M-I-N-E-O. Uh. Okay. Uh, well, let me sign my work real quick. Okay. All right. And uh, I think it was, was it Andy? I think I was right. right? It was just, let me see. Uh, yeah, it was. I just put his name here. I don't need a lot of distraction. All right, there you go. You got it. <laughs> okay, let me see here. All right, so I'm gonna go back to my lineup here, which should be, if I'm right. There. 
Hey guys, I hope that you enjoyed that video tutorial. If you did, don't hesitate guys to go ahead and give us a like. Also guys, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and the notifications button. This way, when we put up new material, you'll be the first to know. If you have any questions about our markers or pens or paper, and you'd like to know where I get some of the materials that I use here on my art stream, there's a link in the description below so you can go ahead and check that out as well. And also guys, we'd like to welcome your questions and comments so that we can get some new ideas. You know, it's always good to have new fresh ideas for our next and upcoming videos. Oh, and don't forget to check out these two super cool videos right here. So guys, thanks again for your love and support of our channel. You guys be safe out there. And as always guys, I wish you happy cartooning.